Hey guys, I'm gonna get a multiplayer round in here. It's been a bit of a rough night for me in the valley. Let's, let's see, Frozen Valley 5, 4, 6, good separation coming there, and Poria KP2. Okay, this is gonna be interesting holes coming up. I'm working on some of my practice rounds, and honestly, just been thinking aggressive has really messed my mind. <laughs> I've been playing some more aggressive in some of these multiplayer rounds. And what it's led to is that in the practice rounds, I'm like, hey, let me show a quick aggressive line. And then I do it terribly. So I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of refilming, redoing those videos. It's a bit rough, so I'm going to take a break and get a multiplayer in here. This is about 80 feet, if I remember correctly, down this hill. The wobble just right. Yeah, there's a good start. See, aggressive works out sometimes. But I'm trying to show an instructional video on how to play safe and play smart for those events. And I just got to not even bother showing the aggressive lines. Just get the get the safe lines in. And that's what uh, most people are probably watching those to see. I know well enough you guys don't come to me for the aggressive lines. It's not what I'm known for at all. And that's okay with me. Although I do take Aaron's aggressive line here. Let's see, I think it's about that much hyzer. Come on. Oh, don't hook up too much. Kick, kick, kick. Yes. A little bit of love on that roll. I was definitely too tight coming in there, but I got the love on the roll to start. Eagle, eagle. Good couple frozen valley separation holes to bring that in quick. Let's see, small play also got the eagle, Koopa, unfortunate four, CT Parker. I think he's ready to tap in here for a three. You guys see that? There was no follow flight. I don't see that on some of the close ones. The follow flight's just not even showing at all. Here on six. Oh, six is not the separate I was imagining. But I take my accurate roll musket down low. And oh, don't kick off that tree. I've definitely seen it kick off those trees straight into the water. Which is kind of disaster here because straight into the water and OB on Frozen Valley 6 is a very quick way to take a bogey when everybody else is getting a birdie. Take a two stroke swing. Little lefties have a good line to get aggressive at that. It seems like safe with the miss. Maybe there's a forehand line. Nothing I've messed around with too much. All right, coming into Emporia. This is a big tailwind, which means my Accurate Glide Sapphire is going to be turning that corner to get up there. That's usually the ride for me, but oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I was gonna kick long. The, the tailwind or the big, let's see, left to right wind has you going Sapphire for turning that corner rather than relying on the rive trying to swing out really wide. Let's see, what's our next Emporia? We have, ah, 18. This is a very simple, accurate wind musket. Straight pullback, default aim, get safely to this landing zone. I see no reason to go aggressive out there to the left side. What is Koopa doing? Had a shot at it. We get that good skip. It's looking pretty cool getting across there. I'm gonna go accurate glide musk or sorry, accurate glide sapphire there. Now into the green. See the the two guys who went long, CG Parker and Small Putt, they are able to get the birdie. I just I think that's a trickier approach. It's kind of wide open if you go default aim musket to that first landing zone and then glide sapphire across. I used to go long when the, before the mini map was updated. That island was showing underwater, super sketchy feeling to me. I'm like, I'd miss easily if I tried to go for it because it didn't look like a very big landing zone. Oh, nope. This is a sapphire, not a rive for me. The rive has the risk of going long over this wall or long OB, whereas the sapphire is, oh, I almost hit rethrow. That would have been bad. Is just, it's going to get me close, not going to go long. I would have really sucked to hit that rethrow button. I don't know why I was even tapping over there. <laughs> Alright, I don't even remember what our last course is here. I'm having fun. I'm up by a stroke over a small putt, if I remember correctly. 
Ah, uh, KP2. I forgot this is coming. This is less fun. Oh, uh, okay. Glide water skip. Get it up in the air. And let the wind do some work. Don't have foliage. No foliage. No foliage. Good. Get off the ground. No! Row, row, row. Come on, work for me, work for me, work for me. No, it's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Ah, screw this hole, man. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'll move to the lot. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Guys, no, I'm going to blow it up here. Let's go white glide paradigm. Get it up over everything. Just get safe, please. Okay. I worked out. Small putt took the four as well. Well, as well, I'm counting those chickens too early. 50 is what I'm going for here. Come on, sway back over. There we go. Everybody took the four there. Man, a tough win, guys. The smart play is play wide. Take the easy eagle. Like Everybody here is thinking we're idiots because we all could have gotten strokes on each other. On the rest of us, if we'd just gone long down the fairway, then throwing her down for the eagle. It's, it's so tempting in multiplayer. I think people are getting that albatross all the time. That it's hard to not go for it. But there, I mean, got lucky that everybody went for it and everybody messed up. But especially in a three wind, going for eagles, gonna be useful. Ooh. I didn't realize how much these separators are coming. I kind of don't want to see these right now when I have such a lead. Let's see, so I went over small putt. He went wide. He had a great shot wide. I think about a disc of Anheuser. Should turn this corner well. Yes, this is looking good. This is looking good. This is looking great. Yes. I like the help and wind to get it, but it's, it's always risky. This is a whole event. I was just trying to work through the Cahill Park video and showed risky lines and screwed them up. So those are events. Another, I mean, birdie's okay. But I think that line I took beforehand from, got that one from Reese, is a pretty safe one to get down there and make sure you're at least having birdie. That's just accurate roll sapphire. Straight up the middle. Get it to a landing zone. Not that much is going to change here. I was like, this is the first win I've had in multiplayer in quite a while. I've been in a bit of a slump, not really being able to focus when I'm playing. So it feels fun to get a good one. Let's see, small putt. Yeah, I got the two, so I got two up on him. I don't remember exactly where Koopa and C.T. Parker were. Yeah, got the win by a couple strokes. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these. And let me know in the comments what type of videos I'm watch you're watching of mine. That you enjoy most. If you like these multiplayer ones, if you like the event practice rounds more, let me know where I can focus my efforts because honestly, I want to do what is fun for you guys to watch. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay bogey free.